if you are currently experiencing an all-encompassing, horrendous anxiety, stress, sleepless nights, and not knowing what to do with yourself, literally not knowing what to do with your body, panic attacks, talking to people and they're not understanding you, they're not getting you. Because somebody has walked away from you, whether that's a romantic partner, whether that is a friend, whether that is, <laughs> by the way, guys, I've got a cold. You know when you get a cold and your teeth feel, mm, that's what that was. Sorry, sorry about that. But whether that is, um, maybe it's a family member. A job, a boss, a work colleague, a work colleague that you feel has um, stabbed you in the back and you're experiencing these horrendous, I mean, not just that wasn't very nice, they were really great, I mean beyond horrendous feelings. Where you don't know what to do with yourself then stay tuned to this video because i'm going to explain to you exactly why this is happening for you and how you can change this around and release these horrendous feelings that you're currently experiencing before I go into that, guys, hello, I'm Natalie. It is lovely to have you here. If you're new, welcome. If you are coming back, also lovely to have you here. I am a neurotransformation therapy practitioner and a manifestation coach, and my channel, As a Penny Drop, is all about guiding you to fully open your heart so you can finally create a life that you love, deserve, and desire. I have a multitude of coaching solutions, self study workshops, programs where we deep dive into those limiting beliefs, those traumas that you're holding on to, one-to-one uh, -one sessions with me, self-love workshops, I've said that, self-study workshops, masterclasses, radiate confidence, free Facebook group where you can put your manifestation questions to it for free, a members only channel on YouTube, the badass manifestist community. And you can also find out about what I get up to outside of YouTube on my Insta page and my other social media platforms. Everything is in the links below. And if you go to my website, all the costs are on the website. Okay. So let's get to this video. Oh, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do click that subscribe button. I'm super excited about how this channel is growing um, authentically, which I'm yeah really, really proud about. Um, okay, so let's get back to this video. So why did I want to talk about this today? I think this is going to be a long video. So you might want to pause and get a cup of tea. I'm still drinking my coffee from this morning, but hey, I like cold coffee. It's my thing. So. Um, if you don't know about my journey, I will tag um, here. I will tag my Becoming Natalie Dance Raw and Authentically Me playlist, where I talk openly about what I've experienced. Don't hold back. So if you want to find out more about me, you can click uh, that playlist there. I know only too well if you have continued to watch this video, it's because you're experiencing what I've just described. And I know how horrendous that is. Beyond horrendous. Words can't describe the pain, all encompassing, not knowing what to do with your body. Kind of feeling like you've completely lost you not wanting to get out of bed, getting out of bed anyway, but not wanting to. Maybe you don't get out of bed. Wanting to be around people, but you don't want to be around people. Oh, the list goes on and on and on and on. Maybe 
you know, your friends invite you out and you go out and you just, you're not there. You know what I mean? You're not there. You're there, but you're not there because you can't shift this horrendous feeling of feeling so fucking alone and feeling like nobody gets you. Nobody's getting this. It's like you see other people kind of like had breakups in their past and they seem to bounce back really quickly and they're back in the dating game and it's all loving themselves and then they accelerate at work and then they get the pay rises and this is and that. And you feel like your world is completely crumbling beneath you because somebody has walked away from you. Or maybe you actually walked away from them for protection from their horrendous behavior towards you. But you still feel all of these feelings. Why? Why is it so hard for you and not for them? Why is it actually the other person either left you or you left them? acting like nothing happened or why is it that other people seem to manage it so easily you know maybe you're at work and maybe you're starting to make mistakes because you just can't concentrate on anything else maybe now you've dropped this vibration maybe you're feeling kind of attacked by people at work your boss whatever maybe you're having the pressure piled on you maybe you're you know, you've got all of that going on too. And my God, do I know what that feels like? Because that is exactly what happened to me. When I'd broken up from a relationship, this was back in 2012, long time ago. Uh, it was the right thing. See, now it's obviously easy to see afterwards. It was the right thing. But at the time, I was literally having these panic attacks where they would start at the, my toe, tip of my toe, and I could feel it rising up my body. And it was like I was going to die. And I was literally gripping hold of, like, if I was with a friend of a dear life, because I could feel the wave of this panic attack until it kind of reached the crown and then kind of, like, went out the crown. Sounds really weird to say that. Um, And then I could breathe again but I would be crying hysterically crying it was awful that was just one symptom but when this relationship ended the life that I thought I was going to have with this person the moving to Richmond the having a baby then um just it was like ripped away from me and it was like even though I knew the relationship wasn't right the feelings were beyond horrendous and um you know I didn't want to go out didn't want to stay in didn't want to go to work wanted to go to work didn't really want to go to work actually because what happened was when I'd started this particular job at this very famous corporate company I was in a high vibration place in this relationship everything was going well and then a few months down the line, things weren't going well. And then that ended and it felt like I just couldn't focus on anything. I was just in such a state. And like, now, like I said, like no one understood. And then I was bullied horrendously. Like you would take someone to court for that now. That bad. Horrendously bullied. They were piling on the work by other people around me were, you know, other people were allowed to have an hour and a half lunch break if it was a leave and do. I wasn't allowed. Everyone else was but me. It was fucking awful and I had no one there to support me. No one gave a shit, really. So it felt like not only did I lose my relationship and then I had to be back to my mum's because I'd rented my flat. 
you don't ever really want to go back to your parents. It's not really the right thing to do. And that wasn't easy at all. Um, why? Why was it so bad? Because it was the lesson that I didn't actually learn until 2020. It took me that long. It was a lesson. All of it was a lesson. You know, I knew straight away in that relationship that it wasn't right. I changed in that relationship because I felt like that I had to, I wasn't told, but there was an underlying belief. And three months after the end of that relationship, I remember looking back on pictures in that relationship to where I was three months after. Oh my God, I was in, I felt so much better about myself. I was able to wear makeup again, do my hair the way I wanted it to be done. Show a bit of cleavage <laughs> if I wanted to, because I wasn't really allowed. Um, but the reason why the horrendous feelings kind of took over me was because I went into that relationship and the reason why this is happening for you, I know it doesn't sound very good to say that, but it is for you. This is a lesson. It's a horrendous lesson. I agree. And I don't quite agree with the process, but this is what it is. Sometimes some of us have to be hurt so much to finally wake up to what it is that we've been allowing. So we don't go through that again. And fundamentally, so we learn to love ourselves. So basically the reason why, and why I was, is because, let's get my cup, the love heart. So this is you, whole and complete. But life has happened in a way it's made you feel less than whole and complete. So you show up less than whole and complete. So you show up with your cup this much full, constantly seeking validation, seeking approval, seeking love outside of you. And so then when that loving relationship comes in, it's like a dream come true. You ignore the red flags. There's no red flags, they're perfect, they're amazing. They're my soulmate. They're my everything. And they start to give you attention and they start to say nice things to you, which you're not used to. And so then your cup starts to fill up because they've come into your life. And you don't know this is happening because this is what normally happens in your reality. And I know that's true. This isn't just a one-off. This happens more than once for you to wake up. For me, it took a very, 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 it took decades. Some people, it takes one or two relationships for them to wake up. But for me, it took a very long time. And so what happens is, you know, this person, that's our soulmate, that's our everything, that's incredible, makes us feel amazing, spoils us, treats us like a god, a goddess. It's just like sex is fucking off the wall, incredible. The kissing, oh, or maybe the sex isn't off the wall and the kissing isn't, oh my God. But you know what? You've got somebody. So who gives a shit? I know I'm speaking to you all. But your cup's here. And maybe, maybe they um, stop responding to you really quickly. Maybe they only respond to you every three days. But they're still amazing because it must be something you've done because that's your past experience. It's always your fault. Because there's something wrong with you. Maybe they start talking to you in a way where they say, well, I said this to you the other day. And I'm like, but they didn't. They didn't. You start questioning your mental health. Maybe I'm going crazy. Maybe I'm getting dementia. Maybe I'm losing my mind. But I've got someone. It's okay. 
I'll just work harder. I'll just do more people pleasing. Maybe I'll buy them that gift. Maybe I'll book a first class trip to such and such. Then it would be okay. Then it would go back. Then it would go back to how it was. And you start to feel them slipping away. And the anxiety, as you feel them slipping away, as this gap opens up again, coming down the cup, you're losing them and you don't know what to do about it. Maybe you react, maybe you get angry, maybe you stay silent, maybe you just put up with it. And then they're gone. I use this example because that's the example in my life. Sometimes it was the other way around, but I'm just going to use this example based on the, what I just shared with you. So here we are again. Back to feeling like shit. You recognize that feeling. You've been there before. Abandoned, left, not wanted, not forgettable. Not chosen, not prioritized, not shown up for, not for not in with. Not enough, not worthy, not lovable, not intelligent enough, not smart enough, not thin enough, not fat enough, not tall enough, not short enough, not earning enough money. Don't have a better, don't have a good enough career. Don't dress the way that, you know, they wanted you to dress. And I could go on and on and on and on and on. But you see that gap. You were consistently in your life looking outside of you to fill. You'd fill up. You'd put up with crap. And it would empty. Fill up. Put up with crap. And you know what? Because the pains would get bigger. It would empty even more. Depleting you of your complete worth. Maybe even some of you it ends up here. Maybe you even get to that feeling that you don't want to be here anymore. All because you were seeking so much love in the wrong place. Based on the programmed mind, which is out of your control. And so those people that when you, you look at these other people in these relationships and you see them being so happy or you seem lucky in relationships, or if they decide they don't want to be in another relationship, you know, they bounce into another one really, really quickly and it's bigger and better than the last one. And they always seem so super happy. The only difference between them and you is that they know their worth. And maybe they had to learn the hard lesson. Don't know. But they know their worth. Maybe they had a different upbringing to you. But their programming is different now compared to yours. So when we're looking at these other people. We don't want to look at them in jealousy. We don't want to look at them in like, you know, they're one of the lucky ones. No, because we're all the same. Just our programs are slightly different. But when you understand everyone as you pushed out, I've tagged the video here. When you understand that your outer world is a reflection of what goes on in here, you know that you have the power to change this. So whilst right now it might feel like you desperately want them back because they're the only one you can have. They're the only one that gets you they're also the only one that treated you appallingly where your friends stood back and watched because they were helpless and so whilst that relationship is crumbling maybe your work life is crumbling no matter what you do at work it's not enough like I said because the vibration has dropped to an extent where it feels like the whole world is against you. And that's exactly what it felt like me in that relationship back in 2012. 
understanding that you hold the power within and what you're seeking outside of you when you're seeking validation, when you're seeking love outside of you, when you're seeking somebody to see your worth, when you're seeking somebody to treat you as you've always wanted to, what your lesson is, is for you, for the things that you want outside of you, for you to give to you. And <laughs> with a self-love practice, you can, because I've seen it, you can transform, shift within to a high vibration with a self-love practice within weeks, within weeks, if you dig deep enough, if you were consistent enough, the C word is going to pop up in nearly every one of my videos because some of you get it, some of you don't. It's consistency. It's consistency. Consistency. There's no other way of saying it. I'm where I am in my life because of consistency. Even on the days I have to dig deep, I'm consistent. So when you hear me, maybe you don't hear me on this first round of listening to this video. Maybe you have to listen to this a few times. Maybe you have to come back to it in a few days time to rehear it. Maybe when you flicking through YouTube, this video keeps popping up. It's not a fucking coincidence. It's a sign that you need to listen to it again and again and again and again until you get it. Because my God, you are worth so much more than you can possibly imagine. And you cannot currently imagine that because of your program of lack of self-worth, lack of self-belief, which is why you settle for something better than nothing. When you diligently work on you, which you can do with me or the coaches, you know, I have my self-love workshop. I have my radiate confidence workshop. I become chosen prioritize workshop. But if you're in this state, self-love workshop, my six week breakthrough program or my five week ultimate transformation program. And you can get the self-love workshop in a variety of different bundles, including some time with me. Like I said, Loads of people offer self-love programs, so you don't have to get them from me. But I know that when you are in enough pain and you're really ready, you can transform your life within weeks. Weeks. And this fucking horrendous feeling will go not straight away. And it may want to creep back a bit because you have to keep going and be consistent. Practice repetition, practice repetition, consistency, diligence, repeat, repeat, repeat. This isn't your fault, this is happening. Remember that. But you can bounce out of this very quickly. Like I said, within a couple of weeks, you will start to feel better just after listening to my videos. Obviously, if you choose to do my self-love workshop, you'll start to feel better. But you don't just listen. Remember, it's applying. There were so many people out there that probably know a hell of a lot more than me about Neville Goddard. They probably know a hell about a hell of a lot more about me than manifesting, but they're still in stuckness land because they don't apply it. So you have to apply it. If you want to learn a language, you can't just listen to a tape. You have to listen and apply and listen and apply. It's the same with anything. I sound like a broken record if you've watched a lot of my videos. I have to drum this into you guys. It's time for you 
to see your worth. I see it. Believe me, I see it. I see your worth. And it's not about me seeing your worth. It's about you seeing your worth. That's why I keep doing these videos because I truly believe that everybody can open their heart if they really want to. You have to really want to. No one said it was going to be easy, but no one regretted falling in love with themselves either. So we don't beat ourselves up. We have a wobbly day. We just dig a bit deeper. That's it. So the reason why you're in so much pain is because you've been programmed to believe you're not enough. And so then when somebody shows you any type of affection, especially if they're very pretty or handsome, and you physically are attracted to them as well because you've been guided to kind of think that way rather than falling in love with somebody's heart or soul. You then feel kind of hooked on them. You're doing it because that's the way the program is guiding you to do it. And the program is always going to guide you to believe that you're not enough. So we need to change that program. We need to recode. It's like taking out the motherboard and putting another motherboard in. Clean slate. We need to recode this. Remembering everyone as you pushed out. Everything comes from within. And that's how you experience life. So I want you to know that if you obviously if stay to the end of this video, which is a long video, I know. If you stay to the end of this video, I know that you're suffering. And I feel for you so much. But you've got to help yourself now. It's time for you to help yourself. No one can do this for you. I can guide you. Other coaches can guide you. But they can't get you to do the work. There's no magic wand. So if I was in your shoes, I will be like, right, I've listened to what Natalie said. I'm going to look at her stuff and other people's stuff. And I'm going to choose what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. I'm going to apply it. I'm going to be consistent with it. I'm going to, you know, start to get out of bed a bit earlier. I'm going to do my gratitude. I'm going to go for a walk in the morning. Uh, I'm going to get out in nature. Um, I'm going to start arranging things with my friends. I'm going to start to maybe uh, look for a new job. Um, because you didn't like that job in the first place and you're working with a bunch of dickheads or something I don't know. you know whatever it is start to change this demonstrate more self-care going to the gym exercising looking after yourself eating well have an early night you know when you go to bed early the aging process slows down because you're getting more sleep. So not only do you feel and look younger, you have more energy. You actually, your mind is more awake. So you're actually more intelligent. You can soak up information better and retain it better. Just a little something for me to you. Um, but yeah. Sending you massive virtual hugs because I know there's a lot of you out there that need it right now. And um, yeah, please feel free to like, share, comment and subscribe. And if you have any questions about not manifesting, that's for my free Facebook group. Any questions about um, my coaching solutions, you're not quite sure which solution to choose. Just email me, Natalie at And remember, I really do care. Take care. Massive hugs and I'll be back soon.